Hey guys, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. This is Ashank David and in today's video, we are going to talk about a general common error that every new VS Code user will face and that error is this error. Undefined reference to win main at the rate 16 or it may say for you undefined reference to min GW. So what is this error? Why you are seeing this error? So you just hopped up onto VS Code and uh, you thought you'll be executing some C or C++ programs. You are ready with your VS Code and you have installed your MinGW. So for those people who don't know what is MinGW, MinGW is the compiler for C or C++ programs. So if you are watching this video, I hope hopefully you have properly installed MinGW into your systems. And if you have not, I have the link in the description below. You can go ahead and see how you can uh, use MinGW and install it with the VS Code in order to start writing your first C or C++ program. So generally you will find this error when you are a new VS Code user and you started working with your VS Code for C or C++ files. Now you are trying to compile this file but the problem here is as soon as you say compile or, or as soon as you run the code it gives you this error and define reference to MinGW. So how to resolve this? Guys it is very simple to resolve this generally you ha you might be just writing the code and then you might be just running the code like how i am doing right now so it gives you a big error and it gives you something like this here undefined reference to min gw or min main other age 16 so guys the problem is very simple you just need to save your code before you run it generally we just write the code but we don't save it and just like any other ide if you're coming from any other ide or java background uh, you might you have used IntelliJ IDEA there automatically the files are saved but in VS Code automatically files are not saved. So you have to manually enable that option into settings and then it will work actually. But uh, if you are a new VS Code user you will generally see this error. So when I run this code again I will run this code you can see that it again gives me this error here undefined reference. But one thing I can do here is I can just save it. So on my keyboard I will press Control plus S and you can see that it saves. So now when I run this code, you see that it starts working fine, not a problem. So this is a, this is how you will solve this problem. Now I'm going to show you one more thing, how you can actually check. So I'm going to create a new file here. This time I'm going to create as demo, uh, demo 2.cpp and same exact code I'm going to copy paste here and uh, you will see that the difference here, how you'll get to know which is saved or not saved, you can see on the top of the name of the file here demo2.cpp there's one black dot coming this black dot is coming and it is telling you that the file is not saved but when you save the file that black dots disappears so you can see that now it's an x symbol to just close the file that is open up right now in vs code now this file is telling us that this is not saved so when i press ctrl plus s that dots goes away so this is how you can save your code before you run the code now when you save your code and when you run the code you don't get that error simple as that so this is the problem that you were facing guys so always remember to save the file before running the code in vs code if you don't like this then you can go to the settings and you can click on to the settings you can search for save here and there will be multiple settings popping up in front of you what you can do here is you can just uh, scroll down a little bit here and um, you you will have you will see one option called as save automatically before run so in this case i am using a uh, plugin here code runner so here you can see that i'm using using a plugin here code runner so here it says save all files before run so whether to save all files before run save files before run so i'm going to just click on to both of them so this way now i don't want any file to be saved manually code runner will do it automatically or if you are not having code runner that is also fine still you will see the setting for your default plugin or whatever compiler you're using in vs code so whichever build tool is use uh, running it it will automatically show this settings for you so you can use the settings and there you go so you can run the code so let's check this off quickly again i'm going to create a new file here this time i'm going to create as demo3.cpp and here I'm going to paste the same exact code and if I run this directly now, I don't have to save it. You can see that I did not save it. That black dot, I did not save it. As soon as I clicked on to run button, it automatically saved it. So well guys, this is how you can fix this setting. If you 
have understood this guys tell us in the comment section below if you have liked this video give us a thumbs up and if you have any doubts tell us in the comment section below i'm gonna clear your doubt as soon as possible and uh, well that's it for this video guys don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel code is arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates and if you're new to this channel please subscribe here on our channel we make videos related to programming and we have covered so many things you can check our playlist and you can learn a lot more things from our channel so thank you guys for watching this is ashank david signing off and uh, there you go see you guys in the next time